Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another video. And what you know, good news as it turns out, the chosen hunter who's been filling that hole in the pain of our rear area, whatever you want to call it, ever since the chosen assassin nodded off, well, it turns out we finally have their location. And today, the hunter will become the hunted. So let's jump straight into it then. How are you all? Having a good weekend? I hope you are. I'm having a great weekend. Got a couple of things. Finally, I'm not going to use the word running because running sounds too optimistic. Turning on at least. And getting to a point where it's, um, you can do more than watch it, watch it become a paperweight at least. But anyway, I've got a video planned for next week that I hope that you'll all enjoy bit of a longer project for a change but anyway so we got the A team together ready to take out the chosen hunter at their home base let's go ahead and kick their door down and we are in boots are on the ground okay. looks like this place is a bit funky Really? Chosen being in there? The chosen base? What's next? It's almost like we did this mission to go ahead and take them out or anything. Anyway, so here's what the plan is. First off, I'm going to go ahead and send Elena off to do some scouting that lot. And of course, we've cut to after that to save some time. And well, what do you know? Advent decided to walk straight into us. Seriously, I really wasn't planning for them to come over to us that soon. But, regardless, we have got a whole host of people sitting on Overwatch, ready to blow them to pieces. It appears it doesn't know which order people get killed, but, oh well, that's... <laughs> that's up to XCOM, I guess. So what have we got? We've got an Advent Mech and we've got an Advent Heavy Mech. Not exactly the nicest foes to deal with, but that's who we're dealing with. Okay, so that Advent Mech is coming over. He's probably going to regret his life decision in about two seconds because we've also got a couple of snipers. And there he is. What's that other Mech doing? Because he's also jumping over. Yeah, I'm surprised that nobody actually decided to, you know, use the door. And, of course, of course, as if anybody would ever get hit in Overwatch, right? Sounds like there's another mech or something big and scary off in the distance. I'm sure we'll find out what it is soon, though. I can't tell if I like or hate the hunter. On the one hand, yeah, he's a bit of a psychopath. Yeah, he's trying to kill us. But on the other hand, I don't think he's doing it for the reasons Advent would like him to be doing it. You know, most people, when they're trying to take out XCOM, it's because, of course, for the glory of Advent, him is just like, eh, why not? Let's go ahead and kill some things. What's. Do you sort of remind you of? Maybe you've seen um, a series that's oh, got, put off, yeah, got put off the air years ago now. Great little show. Anybody watched House? He sort of reminds me of House in a way. Not doing it because he wants the human connection or wants to be a good doctor. No, he's doing it because it's fun. In a really cynical way as well. It's just, it reminds me of The Chosen Hunter way, way too much. Anyway, so things aren't looking exactly brilliant at the moment, because, of course, um, well, when we open that door, what you know, there's an entire extra squad. But luckily, what you know, it's Jane Kelly that's on point. And what does Jane Kelly have that's so instrumental? Well, she's got the serial ability, which means if she kills something with her shotgun, well, her action points get refunded and she can take another action, i.e. another shot, or something that's going to ruin someone's day. See me here making sure that she'll actually have enough damage to kill that dude before I pull the trigger. And what do you know? She does. 
But yes, one, she's got that very nice course, serial ability, she's also got the Reaper ability, which means that she can also do the same thing with a sword. Meaning if you get her into a good position like this, she can pretty much take on an entire enemy squad on her own. She's not broken, I swear, she is perfectly balanced, of course. Right, fire weapon at the Lancer. That's a nice kill on him. Ooh, even a critical. Thanks. Okay, so we've got an Advent Purifier over there. Yeah, she hasn't got a great shot. We're going to move her up, we're going to slash, and then we're, what we're going to do, right, is we're going to go ahead and use her Bond Mate to give her an extra move so she can go ahead and, well, shoot him up close. Should hopefully kill him, right? Well, let's find out. Yeah, that's where I'll slash her. Alright, go in, hack his face off. Didn't quite work. Go full Hannibal on this on him this time. Where's a where's Elena? Elena! There you are. Advanced teamwork. Okay. Blow his face off. Critical, but of course it doesn't kill him, because this one's an advent priest, so he's gonna Go into that nasty little stasis. Mm. But here's the thing. He stood right next to our lovely Jane Kelly. And Jane Kelly has the Blade Storm ability, which means if he even tries to move, she's going to slash him again. And chances are, she's going to hit him again. And what do you know? 11 damage, a bit overkill, but hey, nobody ever said overkill was underrated. And what you know, for some inconsolable reason, <laughs> the Advent Purifier decides to run straight into her. Don't know how he saw that to be a good idea, but fair enough. Anyway, after moving our folks into the next couple of rooms, turns out, and what you know, the teleporter to the Chosen's Chambers is sitting right there. So we're going to move everyone into position, open the door, kick their faces in and make our way over to the Hunter and make his day a lot worse. Okay, so we've got three codexes and one of those exosuit things. I always forget what the name is of them. Yeah, that was going to be someone in the comments, oh, it's one of these. I don't care. Anyway, right, what we're going to do is we're going to first off use Elena to put a Claymore down on, on that codex over there and then use the remote start ability to detonate that big barrel of explosive goodness. Of course, if we only did the barrel, it wouldn't quite kill the codex, but with the claymore sitting right next to it, it's an instant kill, problem solved. That just brings us down to two codexes that we have to deal with. Now, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is destroy all the cover in the room and basically just leave everybody out in the open to make them moderately easy criticals. But first, it's a matter of just trying to get the grenade just right. Okay. That will do two grenades. Because, of course, Caitlin over there, she's got the lovely salvo ability, which means she gets to go ahead and fire off multiple grenades in a two. There we go. Salvo triggered. Launch frag grenade. Uh, we don't want to get them in it, because if we do damage to them, then all of a sudden... They're going to multiply, and we don't want that. We want to go ahead and keep them central as possible so we can take them out in one go. Okay, right. Open up the door. Let's see what we've got. Right, we can get a chain shot on that codex, which is basically a guaranteed kill. What we're also going to do is we're going to do a lightning hand on the... God, I wish you'd show the name. I've forgotten what they're called. Scary exosuit things that are very poisonous. Probably go ahead and see what it is later on. I'll probably remember it just as the text comes up, so I'll look like an idiot. But anyway, chain shot on the codex. What do you know? Don't even need to do the second shot. She got a critical, and it is down. Right. Okay, so we're now in the uncomfortable position of trying to deal with that codex there. Yeah, this could be a bit awkward, right. A dual strike might do it. 
But it's not a brilliant shot, not to mention we have to rely on a lane of two. Mm. Right, we're going to do cereal. I have a plan, a cunning plan. But it's not a plan that is guaranteed to work. It's going to be a little bit risky, but we're going to try it anyway. I'm on it. Okay, so first things first. Do that. Dual strike on the codex, because I think that is going to count. Yeah. So that, what do you know? She got a critical anyway, so that wasn't even that necessary. But we still have the enemy thingamabobby that I still need to remember the name of. It's completely gone. It's not even like on the tip of my tongue. It's just that it's just gone. Right. Okay. It's a bit of a bugger, isn't it? Right. Fire weapon, or will we? See, I'm not sure because we're in the awkward position of there's only so much we can do because a lot of our people are sort of in positions where they can't shoot at it. All right, so we got a critical with me. So well, let's move. Yeah, I'm thinking if we move Alex up. Yeah. Okay. Right. We'll shoot him now. That should count as a kill. Okay, but this means that we've only got a slash and he's not quite enough. Right, we need to move Alex in now, so we can go ahead and use his lightning cans to hopefully get one shot on them. Even if that doesn't kill them, it will still give us an extra shot, because of course he's still got his pistol after that. Right, free attack with the lightning hands, and he misses, because of course he does. What has been going on with Alex today? Has he been speaking to Jordan again? Right, fire his pistol. And we got him. Okay, which means bloody hack whatever it is off. <laughs> and it is down. Andromedon, that was it. The Andromedon has been defeated. And with that, well, we're ready to activate the Ascension Gate and go and take out the Chosen. And we are in. Okay, so we got a lot of high ground up here. I'm sure General Kenobi is waiting for us. Okay, so here's a plan. We're going to move forward with a lot of our main troops down the middle. Have the two snipers sitting up in the corner so they've got good arcs of fire. Oh, come on, Central. It's not the first time that we've seen it. Okay, so moving everyone up. And what do you know? There's yet another Andromedon as well as a shield bearer, which is um it's not ideal, is it? I mean the Andromedon is a pain in the rear anyway, because it dies and then it has to die again before it's defeated. And then you've got the shield bearer, which can of course give it even more health. So first things first, let's take care of that shield bearer. Make sure they can't get away with doing any more than they'd like to. Is Rapture worth it? Not really. Might save that for later on. What else have we got? It's a bit awkward, isn't it? It's always right when you right when you're at the start when you haven't even moved people to get good shots yet. Let's see. But if we do that, we destroy their cover, which is gonna put them all pretty much a lot easier to one get hits on and two get criticals on. So there we go, that's their cover obliterated. Okay, let's see now. Ah, yeah, that's a nice easy kill. One Advent Shield Bearer. Not turned into toast, god damn it. <laughs> nice easy kill, he says. It'll be easy, he says. Never mind. Right. Um. No. Lightning hands, there we go. Alright, and that's put the Shield Bearer down. And that just leaves the Andromedon, who's still pretty much untouched. Yeah, he's got a couple of bars of health knocked off and a couple of armor knocked off, but he's still a very nasty piece of kit. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a kill zone for ready for when he wants to move. And... Put you on Overwatch. 
It's actually the plan right now is to put everyone in Overwatch. The second he moves a muscle, he is going to be blown to pieces. Mm, yeah, do a sting. And of course we miss. Every time I think I'm having a brilliant plan, it fails. Oh well. And the Andromedon decides to move. And what you know, one, we've got me on Overwatch. He does a fair bit of damage. We've got Faye, who is also on Overwatch. Who, what you know, does a fair bit of damage too. And of course, because of my abilities, I hit him again. He's still not dead, but what do you know, Alex is also on Overwatch. And they're down. Okay, that is the Andromedon's living part dead. Time to take out the robotic half of him. Really do hate these things. They're just horrific when you start thinking about the amount of health they really have. Right. Mm. Yeah. Rapid fire. Take him out. That's one. And they're down. I really do like bloody. Boy, when it comes down to the line, you know that she will get the job done. Anyway, so we're going to move people forwards, and once you know, we've triggered him. You're not supposed to be here. You were never meant to figure out our little trick. What's about this guy? In a previous life, before he got turned into one of the chosen, could easily be found on either r slash nice guys or. Well, something like that. I mean. Think about it. He's all sort of edgy. Thinks he's really smart. I can't tell if I like him or hate him. It's like on the one hand, like that, a nice little compliment because he appreciates that. Yeah, we're an actually tough though for him to beat. But on the other hand, he's so condescending. I'm not in a, not like a casual way. Just the kind of condescending that just makes you want to. You know, punch him or something. You bet that we can't do that again. Have you have you seen our squad? <laughs> do you, have you not seen Major Bloody? Right. Let's see, we're gonna move her up into cover. Get a nice flanking shot right on top of him. Faye, not Faye. Jane, put a shot into him. Critical! Nice! Ooh, he, he's really not looking healthy. Be nice if we did. Be nice to go ahead and equip all of our rangers with the Arashi and the Katana. They're deadly! Anyway, capacity discharge from me, simply so I don't have to move him out of position. And... <laughs> bewildered. <laughs> bewildered, I like that. I'd be bewildered too if I got taken out that quickly, despite being a boss. Yes, we, we know Tigan. Were you not here last time that we went ahead and took out the Chosen? <laughs> Alright, see if we can do a rupture. Hopefully this will increase our damage in the future. It might, it might not, because remember it's a building, not a unit. And whilst that did a lot of damage, we'll see the future. And of course, Alex isn't in a decent position, which is my fault, so we'll have to move in so you can actually get shots on it and set people up to really start putting holes in that thing. Nice. Yes, we know that she's being revealed. Okay, and a lot more damage that time. In fact, so that was the Urashi, so I'd be surprised if it didn't do that much damage. Right. Yeah. Move Alex up into that corner. And what you know, lucky that I did, because an Andromedon decides to spawn there, as well as we've got one of those. Adjusting you know, for somebody that plays this game so much, you think I'd have all the names of them down at this point. One of these scary things. Oh. Wing Boyos, that's what I'm going to call them. Rocket Wing Boyos, simply because I've completely forgotten the name. <laughs> Oh, I'm doing terribly today. Right, okay. 
Now, I'm debating here what to do. Did I really just miss the chance to get the name? Oh, well. Anyway, so what I'm debating to do is whether to go ahead and take out the two units or destroy the sarcophagus first. I've decided I'm going to go for the sarcophagus first because if we take out that healing chamber thing, well, that's going to put the chosen back onto the field. And if we can take out the chosen in the same turn, well, here's the thing that ends the mission. So we don't have to deal with the other two. So that is what the plan's going to be. We're going to try as quickly as we can, take it out and then use whatever we have left to go ahead and kill the Chosen. See, I'm engaging my cereal in the hopes that this will count as a kill, but for some reason it doesn't. Frickin' XCOM deciding what is and isn't a kill. Okay, right, combat protocol. Start getting guaranteed damage. As much as I'd like to shoot him, I just want to get guaranteed damage on this dude. But seriously, armor is a pain in the rear. Get some shots out from Diva. And of course. Jordan, are you hiding somewhere? I swear. <laughs> anyway. Right, let's see. Uh, advanced teamwork. Okay, right, hopefully this will actually... Mm, no, well. It'd be nice if it did, but oh well. Our target, minimal damage. Right, banish. Will be the end. Oh, come on. <laughs> See, I should, have, I should have reloaded. But never mind. Anyway, the Chosen is here. It's time to take him out. Of course, he's only on 40% health because we disrupted him pretty damn early. Oh, yeah. Ah! And he missed! Okay, right. So, Chosen is out in the open. Big Ugly is ready to... Ouch! Just a casually hitting fail like that. Right. Diva, you've got a good shot, right? No, you haven't. Get into a better position and get a good shot on him. We cannot risk this. We need him down and dealt with. Alright. Come on! And what you know is a critical and the Chosen is down. Caitlin has killed the Hunter. Was defeated in battle. Damn yeah, straight we killed him. Unfortunately for you, history will not remember it that way. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it. Leave a comment below if you have a thought or a question to ask. Check out the links down below. Check out my Patreon. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more from me, the 117th Con. This is the 117th Con. Signing off, folks. Have a great day, and I will catch you next time. stronger by far when working together. Your skill is unquestionable.